All right, all right. Let's see, got a coil change out. As you can see, it's kind of raining, which is a good thing, but it's about nine in the morning. Just getting started with really about, I scheduled it for nine in the morning, but it's about 8.50. And uh, we got a leak in the evaporator coil. So it's raining, but that's a, should be nice and cool in the attic. So it's a carrier coil. Hopefully I'll be able to slide that old one in and out. I'm gonna go pump down the unit real quick. I should have brought my off back here. Texas, we got them mosquitoes for sure. All right, not too bad back here. See, they got the disconnect pool. So I was out here about two weeks ago. Uh, I charged it up for him. Use the H10 Pro and find the leak in the evaporator coil. I have to get a bigger wrench for that. <clears throat> get something for that. I'll dry that off good. completely flat so I'm just gonna pull the Schrader valves out of them just to make sure I'm gonna start on the inside I hope when I get back out here it'll be, be no stop raining but it's completely flat so all right so as you can see plenty of room up here it's the new coil that out of the way for a minute. So this is the unit I diagnosed, so across my finger when I cut this line, ain't no refrigerant in there. I see water in the pot, but I don't think the compressor is on. This is the one I leaked such last time. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a little oil up in there. I think I'm gonna have to move this right here. I don't see no screw. Screws must be on the inside.
on fire. All right, here, let's see what we got here. Still have yet to give me one of them pookie buster drill bits. Yeah, like I say, I put that, especially if I got a unit this old. If I operate a car, I got some age on it. Maybe the unit outside is newer. I'm trying to see what it is. Yeah, it's a 2011 car. So it's almost 10 years. So, like I said, I stick my H10 Pro. And this is 
in that drain if it go out i know i got a leak in that evaporator coil i ain't no need to try to pinpoint this leak you know just a waste of time waste of money then you gotta try to fix it hope that put some nitrogen in there leak search hope hope you got it i tell you do all that might well just put a new coil up up in here Sometimes you get lucky and just be able to tighten the TXV. But, uh, like I say, the unit this old, just go ahead and get another one on there. I'll register this coil, get another 10 year warranty. Somebody left a comment one time and say, uh, I changed the compressor out on the older unit. Uh, they say could have got a newer unit with a 10 year warranty on. That's true. I also, my Dodge Ram was used. It was, it was a 2016 when I bought it. I bought it in 2018, so it was about two years old. It was used. I think I bought, paid like, 27,000 for it. And I could have got a new one, brand new, off the lot for about 35,000. But I ain't had 35,000. So I had to get what my money can afford. You know, that's pretty much the same way. Sure enough, somebody could have paid about 35, 36 for a new unit. But $1,900 a lot cheaper. So they go what they can afford. Try to get it up and running. You know, everybody don't like to finance. Their credit might not be good, good enough to finance. So I think they said they could have got a new unit for 2,700. If that's the case, they, they need to find you then because I'm not selling units for 2,700. That's not no fire turn. I was hoping I can get that, get that out of the way later though. You know, like I said, I'm starting out the gate running though. My, my price is not gonna be cheap. We're gonna be competitive with John Moore. We might be Cause as much as John Moore or the big one hour AC, AR Rescue Rooters, the, big, the bigger company, I want the same price that they got. But at the end of the day, I know for a fact, I can go down there and get a job with them and they'll make me a technician. So why wouldn't I uh, charge the same price that they charging when I know I can work for them? Uh, and for me working for myself as a technician, I know I'm gonna do better quality work. I just put a new one of these on here. I'm gonna do better quality work. And I'm guy for you, or even if I work for him. I'm gonna go the extra mile for myself. Okay, got two screws right there. Should have gave myself. What my head like?
move this right here. Take this out. Line it up, up side by side. I was saying, like it's a little smaller. Should be the same one, though. Hopefully. About a nine year age difference. That's a lot different right there. It's, it's a two ton. That's the wrong core there. There, we gotta get the right one. All right, so this is the correct one, and obviously, because this core here, I still got it. I'm just gonna keep it. I have it in stock. Uh, 24. So I should have caught that, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's all right. It cost me about 45 minutes. Luckily, luckily, the carrier, carrier is right up the street, and uh. So it ain't taking long at all. But I should have caught that before I even uh, brought it up there. But like I said, it only cost me about 45 minutes, but that's still 45 minutes. Uh, but this is the right one. This is just slide in and out. Can you see that two ton? That whole case right here with the case in there. Probably can slide in there. <laughs> slide in there. But uh, like I said, since I'm behind about four to five minutes, I ain't gonna be able to record like I wanted to. I'm gonna have to get ready to rock and roll. All right. Like I said, this live and uncut though. I'll show you all my mistakes. So. I'll put the new door on there. 
So we'll say this. I use the new bottom piece. get it up there Quite heavy too this is aluminum that's copper so this one should be a little lighter trying to get down. I think I'm gonna get that attic pro, but even if I had that, there's nowhere to hang it. Yeah. That fit in there perfect. Can't dwell in the past, gotta move on. But I would say if I had the right car, been almost done by now, pulling the vacuum. But uh my next job I think from one to four, so I still got plenty of time. Like I said, I'll just eat lunch on the run. That'll make up for it. But that look good to me. I'm gonna go get the covers. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna put a little 
this on here. I broke my little nozzle off. That should be good there. Might be a little too much. All right, so we can start welding now. I left the factory. Okay. Thank goodness. Should be good. I'm gonna put a little bit on here for good measure. Shouldn't take me too long. Just put a little bit right there. Just put a little bit right there. That regulator messed up on that thing.
See, when it starts turning green, they're ready. So I just let that cool off and uh, go change the filter dry out. And when I put a put a vacuum on it, I can run my PVC line and all that other good stuff. Put some new male fittings on here. All right. All right. So I got the new dryer in. I'm just doing a standard leak leak test. It's got a pressure switch. I thought I heard it yet. Thought I heard that contact to click in. Or that pressure switch closed. I think I got the furnace off up there. I'm gonna do 165. That should be good. All right. I let that hold about five minutes while I clean up a little bit. At 165, I gotta find a uh, somewhere to plug in my stencil cord to pull this back in. All right. All right. So I am pulling a vacuum on that unit down there. We can put our doors and stuff back on. Put the new door back on here. Hey, it's Walter. Watching AC and heating? Yes, sir. Hi, how you doing? Great. Yes, uh, so I, I put the uh, work order in and they, uh, they're going to order, order the parts and, and uh, they're going to give me an email confirmation on when they come in and I'll come and install it. It's a condenser unit and a TXV. Yes, they're going to order it. They, 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 they're going to order uh, the condenser and, and a uh, expansion valve. Yes, they are. That's the condenser. All right, when, uh, good. yes. I don't know, you can call them and then they'll let you know, the ETA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it's all on them now. When, when they send me an email confirmation, I'll go pick it up and then I'll call you to schedule. I do not order the parts. They order the parts. Correct. They, they should contact you, but if you want to know, you can always contact them. Yeah, you can contact them. And, uh, I know, I know. Yeah. That, that's why I say I would try to, con I, I, 
I spent like two hours myself trying to uh, uh, submit the diagnostic, but uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we usually hear something by now, but I guess they behind. So if you want to uh, just give them a call and, uh, you know, just set the phone nearby and continue doing whatever you're doing. And when they pick up, you can ask them. All right, like I said, we're pulling a vacuum. Go ahead and get this drain line intact. Ready to go. I always just like the hand tighten these as uh over tighten it, crack that drain line. Been bad shape then. Yeah, so lesson of the day is verify your equipment before you leave the supply house. I should have known that, but I think they just pulled the wrong one. All right, sure, baby, just put that right in now. Get that uh, secondary line first. I'm not gonna glue this piece here. Just gonna do that there. piece for that one. It's the old one. Should be ready to go. Got it in there. So I got my vacuum pull. I'm gonna zero this out. Zero this scale out. And I'm just gonna weigh in exactly 11.6 pounds through my liquid line.
say so I'm just gonna put 11 pounds up in here it should be good Three. Looks like that's all it's gonna suck in, so I need at least another pound up in there. All right, run get, get my temperature probes. Hoping it was calling for it. Let me go get my temperature probe, find the thermostat. Sub cooling 2.3. I'm gonna weigh in the charge to 11.6. That's factory charge 11.6. This, this is a matching coil, so that may be all we need. Let's see. I say it's gonna need probably about 13 though. I'm gonna put 12 in there. 12 pounds exactly, and then let it run for a while. Suction pressure 142, liquid pressure 299, sub cooling 8, superheat 4.1, does have a TXV, Let's see if they give us a sub cooling target, yeah, got 10 degrees sub cooling. Ten degrees so cooling. Right now I'm at exactly ten degrees so cooling. Maybe all you need right there. Might be a perfect charge. <clears throat> Let's go to the app. I started at 10 o'clock, it's 114 now. That's with a uh, 40 minute delay. Probably about 30 minute delay though. They had me in and out. Yeah. I think that's all we gonna need right there. Target sub cooling 11, I mean 10, <clears throat> 10. Like I said, I put 12 pounds in there, factory 11.6. So I may not even need that 12. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up right here. I'm gonna let this run for about five or 10 minutes and uh, go in there and check the temperature come from the supply return. But, uh, I think we should be good to go. I say I started at 10, I started at 9 o'clock. So it's 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. So about four hours. Typically I always say it'll take me four hours to do evaporate before I change out. If everything go good, I can do it in two or three. But everything didn't go good, so we at all four. And we're still 11 degrees sub cooling. We're gonna call this one good. Alright. Please like, subscribe. Thank you.